just roll with it. Today we're going to learn how to do these illustrations in Illustrator from beginning to end and I'm going to walk everybody through step by step so you can also create these illustrations just like me and end up with a product like this by the end of the video. With any great design comes a great set of references as well. Now, you can see that all my designs here are based on some of my favorite Asian foods, but we're not gonna focus on every single one of these. We're just gonna focus on Ikura, just because it's a little bit harder to draw. So this is one of the my favorite designs, which is the Ikura uh, Sushi. And what I've basically done is go into Google here and just uh, type in Ikura Sushi. So you can see I've already done here, and just go into the images. Now there's many different references for every single thing that you're going to want to draw. Uh, I do not really like to copy these uh, images and just basically trace them. So what I usually do is uh, take these as reference, kind of study what they are and the main characteristics of these sushis. So as you can see with the Ikura roll, it's basically just uh, seaweed wrapped around fish eggs or a fish roll. So basically what I've done is take this uh, take these characteristics and transfer that onto my sketchbook. Now I know what you're all thinking, this guy is using a black sketchbook, what? But you know what they say, once you go black sketchbook, you'll never go back and that's totally true because once you start using these silver pens on the black background, it's it honestly feels like magic. Anyways, I have these black uh, set up, the, the sketchbook and the pen down in the description if you guys want to know what I'm using. Uh, but basically what I've been doing here is just jotting down my ideas using the descriptions of the different roles. So we have our Ikura role here that I'm starting to draw. And really just capturing all the shadows and what I want to have in the drawing. And some of the other ones that have rice in it, like these Tekka rolls, I will have a little bit of gray shadow. But because of the uh, nature of our Ikura role here, there's not much of shadowings to do because of the Nori. Anyways, this is a Dango with the highlights. And uh, we also have one more, which is the steam bun. But you guys get the point. You really want to sketch out what you want to be drawing into Illustrator. So let's move on to the next step here. All right, so basically I've taken a picture of my sketch and we're going to go ahead and open this in Illustrator. So once it's open, I like to just focus on the thing we're working on. So we're going to go ahead on the top here and just crop the image to our Ikaro roll. Like that. Hit enter. And I'm just going to scale this so it's a little bit bigger for us to work with. We're going to go into the layers panel and lock this layer so we don't move it. And create a new layers where we're going to do our illustration. So you can see it's basically an oval up here, two lines, and then another oval down here. So that's exactly what we're going to create. An oval here, try to match it as best as you can, but if it doesn't match up that well, that's totally okay. I'm going to scale this a little bit and draw the two lines down here. Make sure this upper circle is deselected, otherwise it will basically modify the points but like that, and then we're gonna go ahead and copy this over. Now this is pretty hard to see, so we're gonna make this into a black color and just make the stroke a little bit more visible. Now on the top here, we don't really want the other half. What we can do is select this and press C, which is the scissor tool, and we can cut it halfway on either side and delete the top half here. And then we can basically have a copy of this and drag it on the bottom so that we have our shape. So if we turn off the background layer here, we can kind of see what we have and adjust it accordingly. Right now, we can see it's a little bit flat on the top as well as the bottom. So we can basically go into our direct selection tool and just double click that and drag it down a little bit just to make it a little bit more round on the top as well as the bottom. That looks really good. So we're going to turn this back on. You can see that there's a lot of fish eggs on the top here. So for this one, we're just going to create a lot of different circles. Now I'm going to try to base the, um, the, the, the size of the bubbles or the fish egg based on my drawing, but it really does not matter how big or small these are as long as they look proportional to the rest of the sushi roll. Okay, so here we're just going to draw all of these different circles. 
you can have these basically correspond to your reference or you can simply turn off this and just draw the eggs as it makes sense. Something like that. We're not going to worry about these overlapping lines. We can get rid of these very easily. And basically what we have to do is highlight everything here. I'm going to hit Shift M. Or you can find this in the Pathfinder tool, which is over here. We can zoom in and then basically just depending on which one you want the bubbles or the first eggs to be in the front. So if I want this one to be on the very front, you're just going to hold your left mouse button and get rid of everything that's there. So basically draw a line over everything that you don't want to be there. Like that. Like that. Like that. And then second row. Like that. 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 And then over here, want that one to be in front of the other one. And there we go, that's our drawing. Now this drawing may look kind of neat, but it really isn't. And what you can do to check if it is neat or not is press control and just press that center eye uh, on the layers panel there. And then you can kind of see that some of these lines are really clean. Whereas if we go down to here, this is gonna be a problem when we actually color it. So make sure that these little uh, nooks are cleaned up here, like that. Make sure all the corners and the edges are good to go. Now for the bottom part, I did forget to clean this part up, but really it's the same. We want this bottom part to be part of the sushi. So we can simply go ahead and delete that. Like that. Make sure these triangles are non-existent. Uh, this part should be okay because of how thick the lines are. But other than that, we should be good to actually color this drawing. Ooh, what is this? Oh, no, that's good. Okay, so we can hit control and then that to toggle everything back. Now, before we actually go into coloring everything, I do like to make a outline. So what we can do is highlight everything, press alt to duplicate it. And then we're going to use the Pathfinder tool one more time, shift M to basically just make an outline. So we're going to get rid of all these different lines in the middle here. And we have our outline. Now we can make this a little bit thicker. We're going to keep that on three and we'll make everything in the center a little bit thinner, maybe like one stroke. And we can basically either have this on another layer by creating the layer here and just adding it over there. And we can basically just move this back. So it has a nice outline to designate where the drawing ends. Kind of like a clip art. But I'm going to go ahead and lock the outline layer. And we're going to highlight everything here. And we are going to use our... Ooh, let me see if I can find it. Our live paint bucket tool, which is also shortcut K. So we're going to go ahead and press K. And just click on anywhere in the picture that you want to actually have uh, colors in. So down here, we already know that it's going to be black because it's seaweed. So we can simply just click that and Illustrator would detect the boundaries and help us color that in. Now for the fish egg, it's more of an orange color. So we can try something like this. That's a little bit too orange, so we can adjust it and retry that. That looks a lot better. And we're just going to go ahead and do that for every single one of these. Now down here, it might be a little bit darker just because it's in the shadow, so we can do that by just choosing a darker color down there. And that already looks pretty good. Now we're gonna add a little bit of highlights onto our drawing here. So we're gonna take the ellipse tool, have no stroke, and then we're gonna have a white fill. And that's basically just gonna give us a nice highlight on our fish egg. So we can basically just copy this onto every single one by using the Alt key and just placing it around the same area on every single one of these eggs. Just to give it a little bit of highlight to make it look more realistic. All right, once we're done with that, it looks a lot better already. So now we're gonna create the face. Now the face is really simple. Um, I usually just use a line or a pen tool and I like to take a nice curve like that for one side 
and then you can basically copy this on the other side and just adjust it. Oh, that's not what I want. You can basically adjust it. We can make this go the other way like that. Awesome. And we're just gonna change the stroke to maybe a nine or something a little bit thicker, just so it shows up a little bit more. Now you can see that it's very, very short right now. So we're gonna elongate it like that. And as you can see, it's already got smiley eyes over here. And we're gonna take basically the same curve. Now it's sad, we're gonna turn it happy. Very nice. And we can basically edit this path however we want. So if you don't like the way it looks, we can go to the direct selection tool and we can modify this to whichever one uh, that looks the best to us. Now you can also change these lines into different uh, types by going up here. And I can change these into just one that kind of tapers off on either side. And that looks a lot better. Uh, I'm just gonna actually make this curve a little bit more here. Okay, and we're gonna give this a little bit of a blush by going to the lips tool. I'm gonna do this, change the fill and stroke, make it into a little bit of a pink color. And also on that side. But yeah, that's basically it. All right, so now that we have our base drawing, we're gonna go ahead and add in some text. So with the text, I'm gonna have a semicircle text on the top and then just straight text on the bottom here. And we're gonna do something similar to what we did in the beginning, is basically draw a circle, cut it in half, and the semicircle on the top is where we're gonna use to place the text on. So we're gonna delete the bottom half, scroll over to the text tool, right click on it, and go to type on the path. And then we can select this path and if we want our uh, text to be just roll with it, we can type in just roll on the top and then with it on the bottom. We can center the text or align left or align right like that. Or if you don't like where it's positioned, you can simply scroll over to this bar here on the left or on the right. And once you see your cursor have the little arrow, you can basically drag your text along this path like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And on the bottom here, we're going to do the same thing and type with it like that. Align that like right here. And there you go. We have our just roll with it text. So that's it. That's basically all you need to know in order to make something like this. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for any future content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.